today's doggy of the day is the it's either the St. Vincent's Thrift Store or Game Exchange in Wisconsin. Now, people may have seen this on Pat the NES, uh, Pat the NES Punks podcast. He talked about it there. But basically, what happened was St. Vincent is like a thrift store, like a Goodwill in Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. And he says this all on his podcast, so I apologize if I'm repeating it. But basically, twice a year, you have like video game days where they put out all their video games on one day and people like line up outside for this. This particular day, two guys were at the front of the line with these big like Tupperware jugs, right? And they're in the front. The store opens. They kind of run in and they shovel everything into these bins, right? Mm-hmm. And then they fuck off over to like where the couches are and stuff like that. And there's people in line who are pissed and taking pictures of these guys, you know? And they're just looking through the games and buying what they want. And everyone else who lined up was like, fuck. You know? So basically, they're complaining about it online because they found out that these two guys work for this place called Game Exchange in Wisconsin. And then there's bad publicity about it. And the people who are complaining kind of got shut down a bit by the Game Exchange people, mm-hmm. allegedly. I didn't see it. It was since taken down. It was on Reddit. And calling those people crybabies and like, look what we got. In, in very poor form. Very poor form. And... It just it made bad publicity for them, right? And that's what Pat the NES Punk was talking about, how they're just they're working hard. There's an etiquette to things, though, mm-hmm. how you do in virtual gaming community. A little bit of a follow-up from Pat the NES Punk's uh, podcast. Game Exchange has since updated on their Facebook page that they're having this draw, kind of, I, don't, I guess, to make up for this whole thing. Mm-hmm. And they're having, like, you know, I think it's a silent auction for charity, probably the Will St. Vincent's, I'm not sure. It's on their Facebook page. We'll link it below. But... You know how originally we were talking about how they were kind of putting in the faces of everyone in that line that day? Mm-hmm. The first thing that they say on this, like, rectification post on Facebook was, like, due to recent events, obviously talking about Pat the NES Punk and all the community bashing them, mm-hmm. we are going to be shutting down operations. And dot, dot, dot. And a bit, not. And then oh, they wow. go into explaining, like, they go into explaining the, this contest for charity or whatever. And the charity portion is probably good, but do you mm-hmm. think Given everything, that was a good way to start that post, Ian. No, does that sound stupid? This sounds like they're still putting it back in your face. Jackasses are rubbing it in everyone's face that they still came out on top, you know? What do you think about Do you think that was a mean response from them? It was mean, but at the same time, though, if uh, if the surf star was giving them out, right? It's King of the Hill, right? They were there first to grab all this stuff. I know. You know what? It's, it's a competition, though, because those other people could have done the same thing. Yeah, because... Yeah, that's the thing. You know what? You can't really... You can't really knock them for what what they did, like, how they obtained those games. Yeah. Like, yeah, whatever you did, first yeah. did it, right? It's cutthroat, yeah. But the way they reacted to... They should have just... Everyone and you know what, though? Everything I, and just shut I up think there's a different... There's a different etiquette, though, because they're a video game store. They're professionals with that, brick and mortar store. Yeah. You would think there's a different way to conduct yourself? Like PP oh, games business, here. Yeah. Right? In Winnipeg here, we have PP games. It's our retro video game store. Yeah. You don't cash them at these types of things. They're not at flea markets buying these games like in public. And if they That's are, true. they don't tell anybody. Yeah. They're mostly their stock is coming from out of town yeah. or people trading in stuff. Right? Yeah. And they they're not out like, hey guys, look what we got, ha. Uh, yeah, like I think, it I think how they acted afterwards, but like if you own a store like that, like you're 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 trying to, this is how what you do for a living, right? This is how you live, like this is how you yeah, pay your pay for your bread. bills and all that stuff, right? So you do whatever you can to try and get things in bulk like that. So something like that where the, they're putting up all their games and it happens only twice a year, it's. And these it's, two guys come with a Tupperware. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it's a huge opportunity to just go and like fill up your stock. It, it is kind of shitty from a standpoint. But it feels of, like then, shouldn't you just be a collector? <laughs> like, that's true. If this is how you have to get your stock, maybe your outlets for obtaining your stock. Yeah. Isn't really, you have there to isn't a market yeah. in that area. If you don't have yeah. the connections already to get stock in, mm-hmm. then why do it? Yeah, you know, then you just like. Well, like, collect. you look at guys like, say, like the flea murder guys, like our friend Retro Bomb. Like, yeah. he's always active on, like, Kijiji. Oh, Kijiji and like garage sales and stuff like that, right? You go out, and so I'm sh- I'm sure if he had an opportunity to go to a place like that, he'd probably jump. On I don't that know if he would. Do. Like, I don't he know wouldn't put like, it. He, I don't think he would. <clears throat> so basically, what we're what we're really doing in this podcast right now for this section is we're just kind of commenting on Pat the NES Punk's uh, his video, and you shouldn't jump to conclusions. If you're really interested in this, you can just Google it. We'll link it below the Reddit comments and everything. All those posts are still there. You can see for yourself and make your own judgment. Obviously. 
all the stuff is alleged. You know, you're yeah. not putting it down. Well, by the end of everything, like, what would you do? I well, do the, the thing. same like, thing. I don't know. Me personally, I, I want to do the same thing. Honestly, I wouldn't. I, 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 I would, wouldn't I would put myself above that. Post it on the internet and be like, haha, look what I got and stuff. That's like, just a, a I don't I'm really like, private. Like, I, like, I'm a thing like, if I'm trying to think if I had a store like that. I'm not the type of person to, like, I don't, I wouldn't want to be in the spot like, like that, especially yeah. negatively. I'm, but just, I don't know, reacting that way. Is it really like worth it for your store? That way. Like it's 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 huge negative publicity, right? Because there's a picture out there of everything they picked up that day. Nothing super rare, mm-hmm. maybe twenty thirty dollar games. Mm-hmm. So you're putting all this work to get this little bit of stock, and you're putting your business out there in kind of a negative light. Yeah. Had the NES people saying you're hustling backwards. Like, is it yeah. really worth to get this profit for the bad yeah. publicity you yeah, might get exactly. allegedly? So it's uh, it's hard for me to. It's say hard to say what's right and what's wrong. And we've met people like that. For me personally, yeah, that's maybe because my collection's done. Well, that's the thing. I wouldn't put myself out there. Yourself, to do this type yourself, of thing. you're a collector, yeah. and you're not you're not buying those to sell them. So I I couldn't really put myself in their shoes, but just the just the way they handle things afterwards, like the response, yeah. was so terrible. Look I mean, at the picture yeah. of these guys, and then it's so hard to say you scum, or so hard not to say. You scumbags. Yeah. I'll put the picture on the on the podcast, but it's 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 pretty shady. But I don't like we, it. Should we one day kind of maybe sit down with Rick at Retrobomb and like ask him his yeah. his how he goes about his business, his business and stuff like that? Yeah, right? but he's very personable. He's a he really is. good business person. And that's why we go to him and I don't mind paying retail for him because he's a nice guy. Yeah. And he he does, he hustles hard to like oh, get, yeah. get stuff, you know. Because it's not easy to run a store or run a flea market spot as like other people think. It's not. Yeah. He knows how to do Full-time those. jobs. And the other thing, too, about a flea market spot is you're paying rent on that spot. Yeah. But it's not like you're owning your own or, like, renting your own, like, brick-and-mortar brick and store. store, you know? There's, like, there's higher rent involved in that and, and whatnot, right? And, like, leasing. Right? I think maybe I'm just too old, man. I don't want to put myself in that situation where I know people are lining up. I'm like, yeah. we all have that. I'm more hyped to find a secret gem in a That's the thing, too. In a warehouse. If you, know, if, you know, <laughs> down. if you know there's people, like, and people lining up, like you said... And you're a store, why put yourself yeah. there and just be the dicks like that? Or at least know? don't even... Well, because the problem was they posted with their fines, the recent fines, and everyone knows that came from St. Vincent's. Mm-hmm. Maybe the donkey of the day is not the game exchange in Wisconsin, it's St. Vincent's for having twice a twice day a video game sales. Twice twice what year, the yeah. hell is that? Or twice a year, sorry. Yeah. Do it every day. Be a real thrift store. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> their situation... <laughs> I don't know. It's it's, it's a, hard to tell. It's a thing though too. You know you're gonna get all those people in the door that day. Yeah. So you can't really put it on them either. But then once you just put it on this market. It's know. you know they're for charity, so it's really hard to see yeah. what their practices are. And I don't know their circumstances, but it seems weird that it's only twice a year. They do the same thing with records and toys and stuff. Like that. What why do not? they gain? And, by and you know what? You know what? Why not? What do they gain? I don't know. Put it out as an auction. If you're doing it for charity, just auction it off. If there's collectors who are willing to pay more than the, the, the okay. sellers, like it's a charity, right? So the money. Twice a year? What mm-hmm. if it's for tax purposes? Who knows? Comment Maybe. below. Why do you, what do you think? Know. What are your opinions on this whole situation? We've kind of talked a lot about it. Mm-hmm. Comment below. Next, is that it for this? Yes. All right. I'm sure. But I would do it. But if, <laughs> if I would do it personally if I didn't have a business, though. Yeah. because That's the thing. Yeah. Who needs social life? <laughs> <laughs> uh, next topic we're going to talk about. We'll just talk about it real quickly. The NES Mini. You haven't seen on our website or our YouTube page. Mm-hmm. We're reviewing all 30 of the games on the NES.